be? Come on. How could it be? <laughs> Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, right. and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Amen. 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 And the angel would tell them over there in the gospel, you shall call his name on, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's how it can be. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. That's the answer to the question. How can it be? Yeah. Jesus. The I am. That I am. That talked to Moses from the burning bush. Wow. That's how can it be? Amen. Right. Oh, the one that was there at the beginning. And should let us make man in our image. Right. Woo! Hallelujah. Still the answer. My Lord and my God. There's a man. 38 years. Yeah. And he's been carried everywhere. Come on. Today, <laughs> I saw him running in the street. How could it be? How could it be? How could it be? How could it be? Jesus. That's how it can be. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus touched him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 38 years. Yeah. He's been carried everywhere. Yeah. Hallelujah. But today I saw him Hallelujah. running in the streets. Hallelujah. How could it be? Oh, how could it be? Somebody wrote a song and had to do with that, I think. Anyway, it'd go good with it anyway. They said, I'm not sure. Ask the blind man. He saw it all. Oh, right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Why? Because Jesus took a little bit of clay and put it in his eyes. And when he washed it away, he could see, he could see, he could see. Jesus. Amen. That's how it could be. That's right. Jesus. Amen. Come on. We ain't done yet. There's a woman at the well. Yeah. Her whole life, she's only failed. Right. One man right after the other. She was having a hard time figuring out that man wasn't the answer. Yeah. Some of you ladies already figured it out. Amen. You probably figured it out quicker than she did. Yeah. But she went one day. She took her old water bucket. Yes, she did. The same old day. Amen. Come on. Same old water bucket. Come on. Got up from the same old bed. Yeah. Right. Probably thought, Brother Bill, today's going to be just like any other day. I'm just going to go to the well and I'm going to get some water. Yeah, come on. Oh, but when she got you will know how it could be. When she got there, there was a man sitting on the well. Yeah. You know what his name was? <laughs> his name was Jesus. Amen. That's how it can be. She, her whole life, she hadn't done nothing but fail. But today would be different. Today she wouldn't fail. Today she would be a changed creature. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Brother Billy, what's got you excited? So excited tonight. Jesus. Amen. It don't take strobe lights and fancy smoke. All it takes is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. You got it. Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. Her whole life she'd only failed. Yeah. Just one drink. And now she's free. Come on. How could it be? Oh, tell me, how could it be? Yeah. There's a cross and there's a crown. And there's a hill outside of town. And the babe from Bethlehem is now a lamb. Oh, tell me, how could it Praise be? God. You see, my friend? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't there when the baby cried out in the dark of night in Bethlehem from the stable. Hey, Amen. Oh, I wasn't there whenever the, 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 the lame man had been carried 38 years got up and did a dance. Amen. Oh. I wasn't there that day at Jacob's well. Amen. Oh, but I can relate to this next verse. Oh. Amen. You see, my friend, oh, I done met the man who was Mary's little lamb and his greatest work of all. Oh, he did for me. He did for me. Right. You see, I was dead. Yeah. But now I live. Amen. All because 
of what Jesus did. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, I need somebody to help me. I said, I was dead, but now I live. All because of what Jesus did. Oh, when I turned to him, I didn't find an old judgmental, cruel God, but I found love unspeakable. Hallelujah. Grace never ended. Right. Oh, I was dead, but now I live. Yes. All because of what Jesus did. And if you've wondered, now you see how it could be. Yeah. Come on. How it could be. Come on. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Right. Jesus. Amen. Say so you're a fanatic, preacher. Well, thank you. I'll be a fanatic for Jesus. Who's fanatic of you? All right. Amen. Come on. Same people that criticize me for getting excited about Jesus and paint your belly blue. Yeah. Right. Amen. Come Amen. Or paint your belly red. Right. You don't mind me what color, whatever team color it is they got. Yeah. Come on, brother. Amen. Same thing goes for both. Break. They'll paint their chest and let their flab hang out. Yeah. And they'll sit out there in that crowd and holler, go, go, go. Yeah. And that's normal. Uh -huh. If I get excited about Jesus. Yeah. Oh, the one that. The one that brought me up out of the miry clay. Amen. And set my feet on the rock to stay. Come on, hey. He didn't win no national championship for me. Come on, brother. Amen. He didn't win me no trophy that's going to tarnish. Right. And somebody's got to keep slicked up. Amen. No, he won the greatest victory ever known to mankind. Right. When he hung up between heaven and earth and said it is finished. All right. Oh, he bought my soul. Amen. He won a victory. Right. So you can call me crazy. I don't care. I've been called worse than that. Right. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Oh. Praise God. I ain't never loved anything like I love Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I ain't never wanted anything like I want Jesus. Oh, Amen. Oh, I was laying up here on this altar tonight. Hallelujah. That's what I was crying. Lord, more of you and less of me. 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 That's what the church needs. The church needs a spotlight taken off the preacher. The church needs a spotlight taken off of the song leader. The church needs to put the spotlight back where it belongs. And that's on Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. That's on Jesus. That's right. Jesus is the answer. The only answer. Right. Amen. Right. He's not just one of a few that you can choose from. Jesus is the answer. Right. Amen. Yeah. And when the church Come on. gets their vision back on Jesus. See, the Bible says without vision the people perish. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Vision of what? A new building? Oh, no, 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 no. Vision of what? A new basketball court? No, 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 no. Jesus. Right. Satan came to me this morning, spoke to me without a warning. He said, Why don't you quit or compromise? I said, You listen, devil. With you, I'm going to level. I'm not going to stop my eyes on the prize. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my, my, my. You can switch churches if you want to. You can switch religion if you want to. But you better not switch your vision. You better not get your eyes off of Jesus. Amen. You better press toward the prize. The high calling of God in Christ yeah, Jesus. Come on. But that's where our focus needs on, to be. Is on Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Not the drama teams. Right. Not the entertainment. True. Not the big groups. Exactly. Not the fancy buildings. Absolutely. Amen. I believe that some of the buildings have become gods right. to people. Amen. That's right. My Lord, I've told you this before. Give me a broom closet in the Spirit of God and you can have your big building. Amen. Right. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not in it for the building. I'm not in it for the chandelier. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it to get a hold of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm hungry for Him. I'm Amen. thirsty for Him. Come on, preach. The church is hungry. Yes. The church is thirsty. Right. But it's for the wrong stuff. Yes. It's for the wrong stuff. Right. Amen. True. 
He said, He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness, the same shall be filled. That lets me know if you hunger and thirst after other things, you will not be filled. The more you get of it, the more it takes. That's what happens to alcoholics. Yes. That's what happens to drug addicts. Right. That's what happens to a worldly church. Come on. Ooh. Come on, tell I gotta it. come on. Amen. Come on and tell it. Amen. The more of the world you get, the more of the world you want. Yeah. And the grass always looks greener over there on that side till you get over there. Amen. Amen. And you find out what's just below the surface. Right. How much more of the world you want? Just a little bit more. Yeah. How much more money you want? Just a little bit more. How much more booze do you want? Just a little bit more. Yeah. True. How much more Jesus do you want? Well, mm -hmm. just enough to appease my conscience. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too crazy over there with the religion. Amen. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to get to... There was a guy who used to come in up there where I pumped the gas 25 years ago. 26 <laughs> years. 26 years ago. The Lord has just called me to preach. I guess 27 years ago now. The Lord has just called me to preach. and I was reading my Bible every chance I got. And I was witnessing to people every chance I got. And there was one old boy. I still see him out here. Love him. Invite him to church. He still walks the street from, go from there to Sam's, drink some coffee. And uh, he told my brother-in-law, he said, oh, don't worry about it. He'll get over it. <laughs> He'll get over it. <laughs> oh, mama! I guarantee you, he knows now. I ain't going to... Oh, I ain't going to get over it. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I ain't going to get over it. Come on, brother. Amen. Really? We talked Sunday about Zachariah's vision uh -huh. of the candlestick. Yeah. And on each side of that candlestick... Now, this candlestick up here... You see that? It was sort of like that right there, I guess. It probably looked like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had to have oil in order for it to burn. Yeah. And man had to, you know, there was a certain ritual, a certain thing they had to go through mm -hmm. to make sure that the fire was kept burning. Right. Amen. Man had to supply the oil right. for the candlestick. Amen. Come on. But in Zechariah, he sees a candlestick with an olive tree on one side and an olive tree on the other side, Brother Bill. Come on. He sees a candlestick that has a source of oil that has nothing to do with man. Amen. Right. Nothing to do with man's provisions. Come on. This was a supernatural provision of oil. Right. Now, like I said, you can get into discussion with the theologians about the two trees means angels, the two trees mean trees mean the sun and the Holy Ghost, the two trees mean whatever. But when it comes down to like what the bill said, where the rubber meets the road, it means that it was supernaturally, heavenly supplied. Come on. That's where the fuel came for the light to shine. Right. That's where your fuel is supposed to come right. for your light Amen. to shine. Amen. 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 <laughs> when burden seems to overcome. There's a higher power. He's able and refuses none. There's a higher power. Oh, amen. 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 There's a higher power. Amen. 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 There's a higher power. Oh, there's a higher power tonight. Yes. But we spend too much time looking for the best selling book. Come on. Praise. Amen. The new think good thing that they come out with. On, the new get rich quick screens yeah. uh, uh, scheme. Right. Amen. The new bottle of snake oil that somebody might be peddling. Amen. Yeah. Take a bath in it. It'll clean you up on the outside. Swallow it. It'll clean you up on the inside. Yeah. Ain't but one thing to clean you up, and that's the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 I don't care. You go Jordan and get it out of Jordan's River and bring it over here. It ain't gonna do you. Ain't gonna do you no good. Amen. You might as well went down there and got it out of the Green River. Come on, praise Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Right. It's time the church got back to preaching Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right. Oh, we preach psychology. What do you think power of positive thinking is? Amen. Right. We preach, I'm a God, you're a God. We preach that if you'll give, you'll get rich. Yeah. It's time we get back, get the spotlight back on Jesus. Yes. Amen. And that's where it was at there in Zechariah. Right. That heavenly source. 
Come on. And then we saw John over on the Isle of Patmos. Right. He was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Yes, yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. He wasn't laying in the house on the couch watching football. Amen. Come on. He was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Right. And where you need to be on the Lord's day. It wouldn't hurt for you to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Amen? Amen. But he was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Amen. And he heard a voice from behind him. And he turned to see the voice. Oh, yeah. my, 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 my. Yeah. And he saw the candlesticks. Right. Amen? And in the midst. He said, Brother Billy, tell me about those candlesticks. I don't want to. I want to tell you what was in the midst. All right. See, we spend too much time talking about the candlesticks. All right. John says no more about he doesn't say the candlesticks were gold and they were beautiful and they had these little notches in their own. No, no, no. Because there was something in the midst of the candlesticks that stole his attention. All right. Praise God. He saw one like the Son of Man. Yes. Eyes like brass. Yeah. Amen. Feet like brass. Eyes like fire. Right. Amen. Come on Amen. Amen. That's what called his attention. Yeah. He even went so far to say that when I saw him, I fell down like a dead man. Yeah. Come on. But he put his right hand on me and said, Fear not. Yeah. It was Jesus. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. Come on. You see, when he got his eyes on Jesus, <clears throat> he wasn't worried about what the candlesticks looked like. Right. Come on. Come on. Amen. Buddy. When you pick your brother apart, yeah. it's because you got your eyes on your brother and not on Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh, that would preach. Yeah. I wasn't afraid I'd get assassinated after I'd done it. Amen. Uh -huh. I said, if you got your eyes Come on your brother, you're going to pick him apart. Come on. But he didn't spend no time describing those candlesticks. Those candlesticks represented yeah. the seven churches Come that on. Jesus was getting ready to tell him how to write the letters to. Yes. Amen. Amen. But when he got his eyes on Jesus, Oh my my my! And he'll give he gives a description of Jesus, like I told you. You can yeah. search through the Book of Revelation, and he gives descriptions of different things. Yeah. He describes the holy city. He describes everything. But to me, he gives more description about Jesus right there in the first chapter of the Book of Revelation than yeah. any other. Come on! You see, we should be more we we should be more interested in Jesus than we are everything else. Amen. Amen. That's true. So we saw how in the vision of the dream yep. that Zechariah had, the experience that he had, the Lord, I think, woke him up so it wasn't a dream. And the candlestick that he saw and the heavenly source, the supernatural source that supplied it, mm -hmm. then we see over here in the book of Revelation, we see the candlesticks that represented the churches. And where was Jesus? Right in the middle of it. Oh, he was the source. Yeah. He was the light. He was the fuel that caused the churches. But then we find him writing letters to these churches because they had forgot who the source was. Amen. The church of today has forgotten what the source was. Amen. Unable to realize the true anointing, they must use other things to fabricate the anointing. Amen. To fabricate the presence of God. Because they refuse to seek His face, to pray, and turn from their wicked ways so that He'll hear from heaven and pour out the, 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 the anointing and the presence of God that will heal their land. Come on, bro. So, in order to keep their old worldly ways, they must fabricate some type of presence. Come on. But it ain't the presence of God. All right, say it. It's not something that can sustain you. True. We got to get the spotlight back on Jesus. Amen. There's two examples in the Word of God, and I'm not yep. going to preach for about five more minutes, plus sixty. Go ahead. Two examples in the Word of God Let her rip. of what happens when you get your eyes off of Jesus. Uh -huh. Turn with me to Matthew 14 and 28. Matthew 14 and 28. The disciples are out there and they're on the boat, mm -hmm. and it's getting a little rocky, and the waves getting a little rough. Yeah. And lo and behold, Jesus comes walking out on the waves. Come on. And we can go there and read it all, but I just want to get this part because I know it's Tuesday night. I ain't supposed to preach the same on Tuesday night as I do on Sunday morning. <laughs> I ain't even wearing no tie. Y'all forgive me. <laughs> Matthew 14 and 28, we're going to pick it up there. You can read the rest of it whenever you get home. You need to read more of your Bible anyway. And Peter answered him and right said, 
Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Come on. And Jesus said, Come. And when Peter was come out of the ship, yeah. he walked on the water to go to Jesus. All right. So Peter's walking on the water. Right. He doesn't step out of the boat. Uh huh. You never walk on the water unless you get out the boat. Amen. Amen. So he gets out there and he's walking on the water. Yeah. He's doing good. Amen. Come on. But somebody say but. But. Sunday morning we're going to preach a message. Yeah. Called it's time for you to get your butt out of the way. Not B U T T, Brother Isaac. <laughs> B U T. I would, but. Yeah. Oh, y'all see where I'm going with it now, don't you? Amen. Amen. But that ain't tonight. But when he saw the wind boisterous. Mm -hmm. Now, if he was looking at the wind, he must not have been looking at what? Jesus. Jesus. He was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Uh -huh. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, right. wherefore didst thou doubt? Now, when did he doubt? When, when he, he got his eyes off of Jesus. Jesus. When does Sister Sidney doubt? When she gets her eyes off of Jesus. Yeah. When does Brother Billy doubt? When he gets his eyes off of Jesus. Oh. When does Brother Bill doubt? When he gets his eyes off of Jesus. When did the children of Israel doubt? When they got their eyes off of God and got their eyes on the life. That's when they doubted. Amen. Yeah. You will begin to doubt when you get your eyes off of Jesus and get your eyes on your trouble. Oh, did you hear what I said? You will begin to doubt whenever you get your eyes off of Jesus and get your eyes on your troubles. Come on, preach. And the devil will do everything he can to get you to get your eyes off of Jesus and on everything going around. Amen? He'll cause confusion. He'll cause some kind of rigmarole roar. He'll cause some kind of fight or argument or strife or whatever it is. And if that don't do it, he'll just add a little more coal to the fire and see if he can turn the temperature up a little bit more. Amen? He said, well, I saw this morning she did pretty good. Amen? She still... I, I threw this at her, but she prayed all the way to the house. Amen? I threw this at her, but she still prayed. Wait till she gets a load of this. And he'll put some more coal on the fire. Amen. Right. He'll do everything he can do to get you to get your eyes off of Jesus. Because he knows, Brother Bill, once you get your eyes off of Jesus and get your eyes on everything else, you'll begin to doubt. You'll begin to struggle. You'll begin to go down like Peter did. Amen. You'll feel like you're going under. Right. That's, that's when we feel like we're going under. Amen. When we get, when we get our eyes off of Jesus Come on, and get our eyes on the storm. Amen. Come on. Come on, tell if us. we can get ourselves to keep them, what did he say? He will keep them in perfect, perfect peace, peace. whose mind is stayed on Him. Oh! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Nancy, we keep our mind on Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Oh, they used to sing, I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. I don't know no more of it. <laughs> but that's enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Some black folks used to sing that over to Sister Judy's. Yeah. You ain't got to be black singing. That's right. Amen. They don't have to be white to sing Grace Bible Bird. Come on. Amen. We don't have to be black saying that. Amen. I woke Amen. up this morning, all oh, with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. No, the devil don't like it. Yeah. Oh, but that's alright. The devil don't like it. He can sit on attack. Yeah. Sit on attack. Amen. Sit on attack. If the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Come on. Ouch. Sit on attack today. Amen. Amen. He might as well go on to hell. That's where he's going anyway. Amen. Yeah. That's where he's going. He ain't there yet. Right. Amen. He's going. Amen. He, he, did you know that devil? Oh, he knows that. Yes. He knows that. He won't take you with him. Yeah. Right. See, he'll get no pleasure out of it once he's there. Amen. Brother Scott, there's no biblical grounds for the teaching that he'll have a pitchfork and be poking everybody with it. Amen. As a matter of fact, there's one part of Scripture that says they'll look at him and say, Is this the man that deceived us? Is this the man? He'll be cast in the lake of fire 
He's fixing to suffer just like you. Right. So he don't get no he ain't gonna get no joy out of it then, but he'll get joy out of it now. Come on. If he can cause you misery, pain, and woe, he'll get joy out of it now. Right. If he can get you to get your eyes off of Jesus, he'll cause you to go astray. Come if on. he can get the church to keep their eyes off of Jesus, then my, I don't know if 144,000 would even be a good number for the church today. Amen. Right. I don't know if that many people's going. Straight as the gate and narrow way, and few there be that find it. Don't be more Jews go than uh, Gentiles, I guess. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. No, a number that no man can number. There's going to be a remnant. There ain't no doubt about that. But got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Right. We ain't going to make it if we don't. Amen. 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 We ain't going to make it if we don't keep our eyes on Him. What's the second example? Revelation, the sixth, the uh, third chapter, the sixteenth verse shows us one of the churches. Now, really, if you get it down to where the water boils. The message was about the same to all the churches that had backslidden. Because if you get right down to it, they had all left their first love in one way or another. Right. They had all forsaken Jesus in one way or another. Right. They had all taken their eyes off of Jesus in one way or the other. Of course, Amen. he had certain rebukes and different things that he told them. This church right here, he says, that they're lukewarm. Right. That's Revelation 3 and 16. They ain't cold, they ain't hot. Uh -huh. They're double-minded. Right. And a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Yes. Amen. Oh, okay. How long halt you between two opinions? If God is God, serve Him. If Baal is God, serve Him. Amen. Right. Let's get this. Let's get down to where you're going to either fish or cut bait. Amen. Who are you going to serve today? Come on, brother Woo. Bill. Let's preach. We need some people to stand up and say, I don't know what you're going to do, but as for me and my house, yeah. we're going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he's talking to a church here. He says, you ain't cold, you ain't hot, you're double-minded, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because thou sayest I am rich. Yeah. I'm increased with goods. I have need of nothing. Uh-huh. And knowest not. Now see, there comes the ignorance, the spiritual ignorance. Prince it around, holler, this is God, this is God. And it goes against His Word. It can't be God. Uh -huh. And knowest not. What does he say? That you are... Wretched, miserable, poor, blind, uh -huh. naked. He says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich with white and, uh -huh. and white raiment. Yep. Thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Come on. Now listen, do you? This is a little deeper than I care to go. But I believe that in the Garden of Eden, I believe that some type of glory of God, I've heard pre preachers say it was the Shekinah glory, but uh -huh. Brother Scott can probably tell you more about that than I can, but I believe that they were clothed with the glory of God. Mm -hmm. I believe that sin caused the glory of God yeah. to depart right. and left them naked. Right. I believe the same thing had happened to the church in Laodicea. Yeah. I believe that because they had forsaken Him, yeah. Because they had gotten their eyes off of Him. Right. Because they became more like the world than they were like the righteous church they were supposed to be. Uh. I believe that the glory of the Lord departed and left them naked. Amen. Amen. But worse than that, see, it's one thing to be lost. Uh -huh. But it's another thing to be lost and not know it. Yeah. Yeah. Be deceived. And that's where they were at. Yeah. Right. Ain't that what He said? Amen. Because he said they thought that they were rich, they didn't need anything. Uh -huh. They had increased with goods. Uh -huh. Amen. And that the shame of thy nakedness not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thy salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. There's that word we've been talking about. You won't have revival without repentance. Amen. You you can holler, you can cackle, you can jump like you can jump like a rooster, you can cackle like a hen or whatever they do. Amen. You can get on top of the roof and, and shout like a whatever. You ain't gonna you can have the fanciest preacher and the fanciest duds and the fanciest music and the fanciest church and the fanciest life, but you ain't gonna have revival unless you have some repentance going on. Amen. That's God's way, Brother Bill. Amen. Come on. That's God's recipe. You wanna know what God's recipe is? Go over to to Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. That'll show you. Amen. Come on. Repentance. Right. Any message of a great outpouring, if it doesn't include some repenting and turning back to God, it ain't right. Absolutely. Amen, Brother Billy. Amen. Because exactly. it's going to take some people seeking God. Some people that, that are more hungry for God than they are the world. More thirsty for God than they are the world in order to see His Spirit fall like He wants it to fall. But where's Jesus in this mess? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 
If any man hear my voice and open the door, yeah. I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. That lets right. us know that Jesus was not in their midst. Come on. He was outside the door. Amen. Come on. We gotta get him. We gotta get it. The spotlight back on Jesus. Amen. We gotta realize Jesus is our source. Yeah. Jesus is our source. Amen. Jesus is the message. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the message. Paul would write in Hebrews 12 and 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. Who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is yeah. set down at the right hand of the throne of God. If I got a message for you tonight, church, is to keep your eyes on Jesus. Come on. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Right. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, peace. whose mind is stayed, stayed on, on thee. thee. Because he trusted in yeah. thee. Now that, if that don't go hand in hand with what happened to Peter, then I'm a chicken. Amen? All right. If you'll keep your mind on it. Right. He will keep you in perfect peace. I'm sure when Peter stepped out there, mm. at first it was like, hallelujah, glory to God. Yeah. And then he got to looking around. Yeah. Oh, me. Mm. Same thing happens to us. Right. The same thing happens to us. When we get our eyes off of Jesus, right. we don't trust Him. Amen. We start looking at the world and the problems and things. Right. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin, that I will not sin against you. I'm not sure how it's worded there, but you know. He said, Thy word is a weapon to my feet and a light in my path. Amen. Yes. We're talking, what are you talking about, preacher? We're talking about Jesus. You got some kind of new message? No, I got no message. Amen. Right. I got the message that he left the disciples to preach right. whenever he said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. I still believe Jesus is enough. Amen. If you're looking for some new fangled thing, you might as well move it on down the road. Amen. Because we got Jesus to offer you. Whenever right. whenever uh, Peter and John went up to the temple that day for the meal, right. I talked about this Sunday. I talked about it again tonight. Y'all ain't in no hurry, are you? Okay. And they went up there and that, that man was looking at them. He was expecting to receive some money. But they could have gave him money and he'd have still stayed crippled. Other people had gave him money and he still stayed crippled. He was still miserable. His life was still a mess. But that day they had something to give him. He wouldn't be crippled no more. His life wouldn't be miserable no more. Oh, my, my, that's what we need to offer the world. Right. They got entertainment. Amen. Come on. And you can draw a crowd with entertainment. Just yeah. somebody else entertains them better and then move them down the road. Right. But if you give them Jesus, yeah. oh, there is a bomb in Gilead today. All right. And it's not your religion or your denomination or your doctrine. It's Come Jesus on. Christ and Him crucified. All right. That's the message. That's the message. Say, Brother Billy, that's the last day message? Honey, that was the first day Come message. On. From Genesis to Revelation, it's always been Jesus and Him crucified. The Lamb of God that would yeah. come and take away the sin of the world. Come on. Amen. Oh, I could preach tonight, but I ain't going to. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 2 and 13. I'm going to close with this. Jeremiah 2 and 13. How many times have I closed with Bill? <laughs> I still got some more to go. Brother Bill knows this stuff. Brother Scott does too. You get it with three or four of them anyway. For my people. No, that's wrong scripture, folks. I'm in Jeremiah. <laughs> For my people have committed two evils. Now, wait a minute. He's talking about the world. That ain't what he said. For my people, I'm in Jeremiah 2.13, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Then why is he spoiled? That's what's happened to the church. Amen. That's what's wrong with America. Right. Spoiled. Yes, sir. Spoiled. Exactly. The church is spoiled. If we don't have the lights just right and the air just right and the pew just soft like we like, we're like Goldilocks. Absolutely. We gotta have it ooh, it's just right. Yeah. Amen. Come on. It tastes just right. Come on, tell it. That's why Jehovah's Witnesses have to have all inversions to put, get what their meaning out of it. Because you can go around and find what you want to find. Right. Amen. When you don't want to accept the truth, you can go out and find what you want to find. There's Amen. one out there somewhere. Amen. Amen. There's gender neutral Bibles. Exactly. Amen. There's a ghetto Bible. Right. Yo, man. The Father sent the Son or something. I don't know. Satanic. But, yeah. The Satanic Bible. Amen. So we've got Goldilockses 
That you know they say, well, this is just right, or this ain't right enough. Amen. That's what the church has done. We become spoiled. Amen. Amen. We got to have our all of this. I told you before. Search your Bible and find out where most of the souls were won in the Book of Acts. Yeah. It wasn't inside the temple. Amen. Amen. Come on. Is that on the street? It was on the porches. It was the different places. Amen. Come on. We got to get fired up enough that we'll go outside those doors and be the light we're supposed to be. Amen. Right. And tell people about Jesus. Amen. We can sit in our doors, in, inside our walls, inside our uh, behind our door, and wait for them to come to us, and the majority of them won't. Right. We're gonna have to reach them, brother. Bill, if we're gonna reach them, we're gonna have to reach them in our daily walk. We're gonna exactly. have to reach them out there where they're hurting. Exactly. Amen. Some of them too intimidated to come in here. Right. They don't feel like they fit in. Uh huh. They don't feel like they dress good enough. Right. They don't feel like they can live good enough. You know why? Because the church has treated them like dirt. Right. Amen, amen. That's true. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Right. I've been treated like dirt by some church folk before. All right. And I'm a preacher. <laughs> amen. But I didn't fit in with their crowd. Yeah. But this is where we find the church in the day that we live. Yeah. They have forsaken the true fountain of living water. And they'd hewed themselves out cisterns. Different things to try and feed the people. But they're broken cisterns that can hold no water. Right. We've got to get the focus back on Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Absolutely. Our rock, our sword, our shield, our present help in time of trouble. Exactly. Who, G who David was talking about when he said, some trust in chariots and horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord. Yes. Our strong tower that we run to. Our refuge that we run to. Right. Our rock that we stand on. Amen. Our mighty fortress that we cling to. Our everlasting Father. Our Prince of Peace. Our Counselor. Our Protector. Our Life Giver. The Lover of our soul. Jesus. Amen. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. You see, He's our cloud by day and our fire by night. Right. He's our bread. When we're hungry. Come on. Our water when we're thirsty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Right. Paul said, I am persuaded that he is able. Right. I've been saved a long time. I've been walking this thing a long time. There's two things I'm persuaded of. Number one, I'm persuaded he's able. Number two, I'm persuaded I ain't. Amen. Amen. Come on. I should have got more amens than that. <laughs> amen. 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 Maybe you think you are able. I've done figured out I ain't. Amen. amen. Come on. I'm not. I figured out He is, and I figured out Absolutely. I ain't. Absolutely. <laughs> he is, and I ain't. Exactly. Amen. He's our lawyer, our counselor, our healer, our guide. Right. He's our all in all. He's a way maker where there seems to be no, no way. Amen. Amen. He's the raven that'll bring you food. Right. He's the brook that doesn't run dry till God says it's enough. Oh. He's the mill barrel that doesn't waste. He's the cream of all that doesn't fail. He's the rock in the wilderness where the river flows from. Hallelujah. Come on. He's Jesus. Yes. No Jesus. Oh, no other besides Him. He is Jesus. The only one. Amen. He's the one who's in the fire furnace. Right. <laughs> He's the one who's in the lion's den with Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord and my God. God. He is Jesus. And there is no other. Yes. He is the answer. Yes. The church must realize that. Yes. Amen. Because He's all that we can give the world right. that will help them. Nothing else we give them is going to help. Nothing else that we give them is going to help. Amen. Come on. Give the Lord a hand for the Word of God tonight. The Spirit. Is moved. Oh, hallelujah. His Spirit has moved in a great way. Amen. Brother Isaac.